hypersonic travel is one step closer to reality. Researchers from Britain and China have developed a ceramic material that could be used as a coating for hypersonic planes, allowing them to withstand the extreme temperatures generated by flying at hypersonic speed. Objects traveling at hypersonic speed have to withstand surface temperatures of up to 3,000 degrees Celsius, which is enough to melt materials commonly used in current aircraft construction. The ablation-resistant carbide is made by densifying a carbon fiber preform using chemical vapor infiltration. The preform is a reaction melt that is infiltrated to create a carbide composite. It is then further densified by chemical vapor infiltration. The surface area of the carbide is comprised of up to 75% ceramic and 25% carbon, which is dense enough to act as a barrier to resist oxidation and extreme heat. Existing ultra-high temperature ceramics, such as zirconium carbide, is commercially used in tool bits for cutting tools. Researchers say the new carbide coating is 12 times more effective than existing ones. Boeing says commercial hypersonic jets will become a reality in the next decade or two, which will drastically cut down on current air travel times. Other companies such as Boom Technology and Lockheed Martin are also developing supersonic jets, which they hope will be in service within a decade. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. We may soon be able to travel from New York to Shanghai in just two hours. Boeing says commercial hypersonic jets could be a reality. The CEO of Boeing said at the Paris Air Show that commercial hypersonic jets will become a reality in the next decade or two, which will drastically cut down on current air travel times. Hypersonic generally refers to speeds of Mach 5 and above, which is faster than supersonic and more than five times faster than transonic speeds. A hypersonic jet can travel from New York to Shanghai in just two hours, whereas a conventional commercial flight usually takes around 15 hours. However, objects traveling at hypersonic speed have to withstand surface temperatures of up to 1,000 degrees Celsius, enough to melt aluminum and titanium. The two elements are common materials used in current aircraft construction. Sonic booms created by flights traveling at hypersonic speeds would also generate a noise on the ground that can permanently damage human ears. Despite the failure of the Concorde and skepticism over ultra-fast airliners, some companies have made continuous efforts to try to turn supersonic travel into a reality. Boom Technology is developing a 55-seat supersonic jet that it hopes will be in service by next decade. Lockheed Martin is also developing the quiet supersonic technology X-Plane that it hopes will eliminate the problem of sonic booms. Son of Concorde Plane prepares to go supersonic. U.S. aircraft maker Arion has launched a joint engine study with GE Aviation for a supersonic jet that aims to cut flight times between London and New York to just over four hours. The Ariane AS-2 plane has a relatively short wingspan and a long fuselage, similar to the design of supersonic fighter jets. The plane's thin wings vastly reduce friction drag when compared to traditional aircraft wings. The AS-2 can reach speeds of Mach 1.5, which is one and a half times the speed of sound. The supersonic speed means the AS-2 could travel from London to New York in just four hours and 24 minutes. Private jet company FlexJet made the first purchase of the AS-2 when it ordered 20 of the aircraft in 2015. Arion hopes to launch the AS-2 next year with its first flight scheduled for 2023. Canadian engineer designs Mach 24 aircraft antipode. Charles Bombardier has done it again. The engineer just released concept designs for yet another supersonic aircraft, antipode. The plane has been conceptualized to carry as many as 10 passengers up to 12,430 miles in under an hour, reaching speeds as high as 16,000 miles per hour. If you can imagine, the world's fastest car clocked in at about 270 miles per hour. At 16,000, or Mach 24, which is a little over 18,000, Antipo is estimated to be capable of traveling from London to New York in just 11 minutes, a flight that currently takes eight hours. Antipo comes on the heels of Bombardier's November 2015 aircraft concept, the Screamer, which promised to travel at Mach 10 speeds, but was rife with design flaws. Following Screamer's announcement, Bombardier was confronted with sonic boom and heating issues that would render the concept non-functional. 
Antipode is Bombardier's response to Screamer's flaws. But if you're looking to catch a ride anytime soon, don't hold your breath. The aircraft is years away from fruition as most of the technology required to make it functional has yet to be developed. But now that the DeLorean might be back in production, you might not even need a Mach 24 aircraft. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Japanese Space Agency tests supersonic plane with less sonic boom. Japan's Space Agency, JAXA, in cooperation with Sweden's SRAN Space Center, has successfully tested an experimental supersonic aircraft that emits a quieter sonic boom. The plane's design reduces shock waves typically created during supersonic flight, resulting in a quieter supersonic boom, according to popular mechanics. The aircraft represents an attempt to rectify some of the issues faced by the world's first supersonic commercial jet, the Concorde, which had its European routes cancelled due to noise levels. The plane, flight tested by Japanese space agency JAXA, was reportedly built to specifications conceived by Sweden's s round Space Center. In an experiment, the plane was dropped from a balloon at an altitude of 30 kilometers and reached supersonic speeds during the fall. The sonic boom data was collected via several aerial microphones attached to a blimp. JAXA expects to release detailed data from the experiment in the near future.